We have reached the 100th episode. I'm Professor Vokas, and this is Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Hello, Professor. I didn't see you there. Besides this being my 100th upload, which there was a big gap. The, the first couple happened over a year ago before the game even started. And then I really just didn't get the channel going. Um, but then I've been back at it for the last, you know, 80, 90 something episodes. So this is the 100th upload though. And as well, we hit another benchmark, which was just the other day, um, we reached 300 subscribers. So excited about that. Looking forward to the channel growing as much as you guys are interested in my content. So for today's episode, there's no events happening nothing else in the game that needs to occur for me personally at least so it's actually my favorite kind of day so it's the perfect 100th episode for me we are just going to play the game because i i still just enjoy playing the game i don't need tasks i don't need to gain experience i don't have to gain the levels i do it but for me it's still enjoyable just to walk around and just return findables and cast spells and open port keys and brewing potions i still enjoy putting in the master notes and and brewing the potions that's still fun to me so anyway today it's going to be a day where we just play harry potter wizard unite so without further ado let's play Pretty good start to things. You saw I got um, a whole bunch of fox there. That was the trace charm was put on the George, and then I got the fox from that. The George actually never cloned either, and I didn't float either. I definitely stayed in the same spot and had a bunch of foundables around me actually. But um, did one of the fox I think departed on me, but I got the rest of them. Ended up placing the fox image. If you if you've watched my videos, I was holding on to that fox image, but with so many, I knew I would get back up to ten fragments pretty quickly. That one departing slowed things down a little, but two from each. So ended up getting back up there. Anyway, I do want to go to the registry because there's definitely some stuff that needs to happen here. I believe some rank ups and then I want to show you some other stuff I have prepped now for Wizarding Weekend. So one rank up on Care of Magical Creatures. I think Dark Arts has a rank up but no image to actually be placed. Hogwarts I've caught a bunch of stuff because still, still seems to be a bunch of those spawning for whatever reason even though it's not, shouldn't be boosted anymore. But I've been getting a bunch of those. Over here in Magic Zoology, a couple things that I've got either set up ready for the Wizarding Weekend or really close. One is the Billywig, 36 out of 38, two fragments away. That's going to be an increased spawn, so I should be able to place that image right away. It gets me 50 family experience for placing the image. In addition is the Baby Niffler, also 50 family experience for placing the image. I'm one away, so if I just see one of those, um, I don't want to touch it. The Young Graphorn, I'm 38 out of 38, so that image is ready to go right now. And then everything else is where it was. The New York City Street, it hasn't changed at all. I haven't gotten any more uh, pieces for the Akami or the Akami Eggs. One more Akami Eggs, and I'm ready to place that image. So Those will be increased during the Wizarding Weekend, so we'll be able to knock them out anyway. I feel like I'm pretty unbiased when it comes to how many foundables I'm returning versus how much are departing. And right now, I will say that first session was, did get a little frustrating at times because I had a lot to part, more than normal. More than normal on very easy things, things that are green without even a potion being used. And I was casting masterfully and it was departing on me. At one point, I counted, it was five things in a row, all of them super simple. It was when I was just kind of grinding through, not any of the high threats that I started to use potions. It was um, two Magic Zoology and three um, Hogwarts right in a row, just like students and that kind of thing. Good cast, and then they just departed. First cast, not even, in, not e not even giving me the illusion that I was going to get them. Um, and then in addition to that, just a lot more for longer periods of time where I was getting a departing of a foundable about every other foundable that I encountered. So it, it definitely got a little bit frustrating. When it got to the higher threat ones, I used um, potions and was able to return those, usually no problem. So 
it just interesting that it's like that, that that sometimes you go through those spans it can be really frustrating but we're not done with the day yet so i'm going to continue to play and i'm just going to assume it's all going to even out and we'll just end up having some fun with it looking at my experience i'm at 50,991. i just leveled up yesterday so essentially i probably got around 35,000. there i think i was at 15,000 from openings some port keys the other day and that kind of stuff after after i had actually leveled up i had gotten more i even had a trace charm still going after i'd leveled up and I returned some of those. So I think I was at about 15,000. So I got about 35,000 during that session. Anyway, we're not done yet. We're going to keep walking around. I'm going to put another Rufio's on, another tonic for trace detection, and we're going to hit a bunch more foundables. Just got back home. You could see it was a pretty productive session. Um, couple, I guess, couple things. Number one, up to 96,000 experience. So I got another 46,000 since the last time we checked in and ended up finding a picket, which I never see picket. So I threw a trace charm on it, even though it was severe. And that's when I got the Slytherin Seeker Draco Malfoy. Um, even though it was super confusing because I was actually, somebody had put dark detectors on two ends. So there was like a grop there, a Whomping Willow appeared, and all these other ones. So initially I didn't know it was the keeper. I couldn't tell. Even though a bunch of stuff appeared, there was just too much happening. So at first I didn't know if it was grop. I actually thought it was grop um, and I was going to get a bunch of them. But then it turned out to be um, Draco. And they disappeared too. So then I had to shut the game down. And when I came back, they were all back. But so anyway... Pickett ended up getting three fragments. Uh, the original gave me one fragment, of course, and then the the clone of it, did, which did appear, um, gave me two more fragments. I actually used Dawdle Drafts on both of those because I see that so rare. And that's actually what I saved my Dawdle Drafts for. It's things that I never see. Like an Omnoculars, if that appeared, I would probably put a Dawdle Draft on that just to make sure. Um, and actually on a Dawdle Draft today, one thing that I hadn't seen happen, um, not sure really how big the effect or the effect isn't. So Dawdle Draft prevents it from departing. So it doesn't actually shut off depart because during a Dawdle Draft, I actually got the um, departure, the faux departure rate down from having like a de departure denial. I actually had that happen while I was on a Dawdle Draft, which means Dawdle Draft isn't specifically keeping it from departing or the faux depart uh, denial happens before the dawdle draft, you know, keeping it from departing happens. So it's an, it's an interesting mechanic that that still occurred instead of dawdle draft just shutting off the ability. It obviously didn't because the departure denial did kick in, which means it was going to depart and that prevented it, and then the Dawdle Draft was still there. It still took a charge away. <laughs> Don't get me wrong there, it didn't save me a charge on it. It still took a charge away, and I ended up getting it on, I think, the next cast. Um, it was on a picket too, I believe. Anyway, all the other good stuff you saw was pretty much from Dark Detectors, although there was some things that were by themselves. But those Dark Detectors, I actually stuck around them for at least about 10 minutes before my Brufios wore off, and I even stuck around a little after that to just really grind some more because good things kept coming up. I couldn't figure out who had put the dark detectors down. It was an open enough area that I should have been able to see who was playing unless they were really at the edge of where you could reach it, I guess. So it makes me think somebody put some down, played for a little bit, and then they must have walked somewhere else. So, because I would have gone over and talked to them because I never see anybody playing this game around me, at least. I'm um, here in the registry. There's two things that I wanted to show you. One is um, Hogwarts School, the Great Hall because I actually threw a trace charm on a sorting hat because I knew I needed the sorting hat. So I got a clone of that as well, got all the fragments from that, which got me to 10 out of 10 fragments. It is the last thing on this page I needed. It actually produced more fox, and that's why you saw more fox. Um, I did have one of them depart on me, I 
think, but I got the rest of them. So I think I actually placed the sticker and I've made it back up to 10, but because I knew I had the sorting hat, I figured I would wait, prestige the page, and carry those fragments forward. So let's go ahead and place the sorting hat, and we'll finally get the Great Hall over to silver after this rank up. Good ministry manual counts on these two, so nice. So more importantly, getting to prestige the page to silver. Congratulations, you prestiged. Nice. Oh, even better, because Fox takes 13 fragments and I pulled 10 over, which means I just need three more, which is great. And lastly, in the registry, I just want to show Magic Zoology, the Billywig, I've got that. The young uh, Graphon, I've got that ready to be placed, but I'm saving it for the Wizarding Weekend. And then down on this page, <laughs> did not get the Alchemy Eggs, still waiting on those. I'll probably get one of those right when the event starts anyway. So it's in pretty good shape that I feel like I'm going to have at least four images to place immediately. And if I run any fortresses, I might have the Akami ready to go or the Mertlap ready to go. So I should have four or five images ready for that task, just to make things go a little quicker when I get to that 800. Okay, I lied. There was one more thing in the registry. It's this page here. Still have not seen Hagrid's Umbrella. Still waiting to see Hagrid's umbrella. I saw Severe's emergencies. I saw all that stuff. Never saw an umbrella. And I will say, everything else on this page that's represented, the quill in the book, the Weasley's clock, the remember all, and the decoy detonators, saw multiples of those. Multiples of every single one of them, just Hagrid's umbrella, which is a medium. But there are other medium foundables that are difficult to find. So this just happens to be mine still thwarting my efforts to get it to gold. But it'll happen, it'll happen, so no big deal. That is gonna do it for today's episode, the 100th episode. Thank you to all 300 subscribers that have subscribed to me and that are viewing this video. Looking forward to 100 more episodes and continuing to bring you guys daily content of what's going on, information, guides, all that stuff. All that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Knox.